Two years ago today, Hurricane Maria battled into Puerto Rico, making landfall in my hometown of Yabucoa. Puerto Rico, which was already suffering from years of economic neglect, was devastated. In the following months, the island will endure the longest blackout in history. We may never know the full death count from Maria, but the most credible estimates suggest at least 3,000 of our fellow citizens lost their lives from the storm and its aftermath. Tragically, many of these deaths may have been prevented if only there had been an effective, well-organized federal response. Unfortunately, time and again, we have seen this president and this administration callous indifference to Puerto Rico. And the result has been a botched response to the hurricane, a response that cost many their lives. Today, Puerto Rico continues struggling to recover physically and economically, but the solidarity and strength of those living there remains on full display. After Maria, the people of Puerto Rico came together to care for one another and help their most vulnerable neighbors. Since then, the island's people stood united to hold their own government accountable and demand change. Despite all the hardship and challenges, their spirit remains unbroken. For my part, I continue working to see that Puerto Rico receives the assistance they deserve. I have authored legislation to permanently correct Puerto Rico's Medicaid shortfall. I'm continuing to push for additional recovery assistance while holding this administration accountable for delivering that aid in an effective, timely manner. We have much work to do. We cannot rest until Puerto Rico is made whole, built back stronger and better. To the people of Puerto Rico, we stand with you on this solemn anniversary, and we promise to stand with you in the years ahead. Thank you for watching and God bless you.